Hi, I'm Coach Garcia. I'm the uh, head football coach at Venture High School. My name is Coach Aaron Triana, and I coach the free safeties on defense. Hi, my name is uh, Coach A.B. Marin. I'm the varsity defensive secondary coach. I coach the uh, Sam and Cat safety, and I also coach the running backs on the offensive side. In turf football, what does it mean to me? Uh, rich in tradition. A lot of tradition here. A lot of tradition. Um, I have been around this place for a long time as a player, uh, as an assistant coach, as a head coach now, and um, I've seen this program go through uh, its ups and downs, face adversity head on. Um, I have seen this program help so many kids in their lives, uh, not only uh, on the field, but uh, in their personal lives as well. And this program has just done nothing but continue to strive year after year to hold true to what we stand for, right? And that's caring about one another, creating a family atmosphere. And, uh, and to be a part of something like this uh, is just so special. Um, you know, I've always said that uh, uh, no matter who's in this program, Cougar football will always go on. And, uh, and that has held true um, just by the standards and the proof that, that we see day after day. My definition of being a coach is being a, a leader and a positive role model to our athletes. Uh, the most rewarding part is when you get to see your athletes experience success, not just on the field, but even after and when they've moved on and become adults in society and, and uh, they move on to do bigger and better things, that's the most rewarding part. Some of the hardships we faced, uh, a lot of injuries and losses, some big, big losses and close games. Season's been tough, you know, the uh, starting off early on, still dealing with COVID issues, um, not having a full team, you know, week after week, just as you want to get rolling uh, in your preseason and establish a good atmosphere and a positive energy rolling in the league. You know, our preseason was kind of up and down uh, and then went into league and we were still struck with really generating an identity for ourselves as a football team. And so uh, we are now into our, you know, second season and a second opportunity going into the, to the playoffs. And um, I'm, I'm really impressed with the way the guys have responded uh, to a second life and, and the belief in one another. It's been a challenge, but at this point in time, it's, it's pretty rewarding. Uh, my outlook on the rest of the season is, you know, just going through and winning the championship. And that's the biggest goal right now, winning this Friday and then going on to the CIA finals. Most meaningful part of the season. Wow. Um, I think being late in a season like this and having the kids have the energy that they have uh, really speaks volumes about my coaching staff that I have. It also speaks volumes about the character of our players that we have um, because that's one of the things late in the year that a head coach always has a concern about and that is burnout. And uh, right now we have more energy on the field at practices uh, than we've had all year. And so uh, I'm excited about that because I think with uh, that type of energy and that type of heart being poured out, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to stop us. A lot of special things that go on the further you go in your season. There's a lot more memories that you make as you go deeper into the season. Like I said on Monday, it is this week, it is tomorrow. Physically, we're fine. Mentally, we're in great shape. Don't let your emotions take control and dictate your performance. Hey, what did they have You don't just go out thinking, oh, this is going to be a good game, like, oh, this guy looks good, but I I'm going to make this play, I'm going to have to make this play. You go out, I know I'm going to make this play. All the work you've ever done for football, seniors all rise on tomorrow's four quarters. I'm going to leave everything out there because I got nothing to lose. I think back to, we hit 14 push-ups every, every single day after weight room, after a workout. 
And guess where we at right now? We're on the 13th push up. But I didn't do that many 14 push ups just to end on 13. Everyone knows what the feeling is of winning that playoff game. Everyone knows the feeling of bitter defeat. And, and I know which one's better. Let's get CIF at home. First time since 2014, baby. Let's go. Pretty sure all you guys see this cast on me. I actually broke my hand in the first quarter of the game. I knew when I broke it. I knew exactly the play. I, I knew that it was broken. Not once did I think about coming out of the game. Tomorrow night could be our last game. You have to think that. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Esteban. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. You know, uh, tomorrow night, you know, we gotta just gotta go out there and dominate. I always think about all the big plays you're gonna make. You know, I love you guys. You know, and I'm really like. Happy to be in this program, you know, it means a lot to me, you know. And, you know, let's get this dub tomorrow, man. Yeah. I know a lot of people on this team probably didn't think we could get this far. I know a lot of people that in this county, in this town, didn't think we could get this far. We, we got here. We got here by our hard work. And I'm gonna do everything I can for these seniors because it's. This could be their last time, and just thinking about it, you know, being there your last time, it's just, it's, it's insane. Tomorrow night, we're not gonna have 100% perfect plays. We're not gonna have, right, 100% of the game go our way. What you can make 100%, okay, and perfect, is your heart and your effort. And then watch everything fall into place. Man, we all three, one, two, three, Batman! <laughs> You know, we're getting ready right now, getting the mind right, about to head over to Colony High School. Let's go. So going into the playoffs, uh, round one, you know, you have the hype of, of you're into the playoffs, right? It's, it's a second opportunity. Everybody's 0-0, zero, zero, and so you go into that first game, and you're hyped up, right, and you win that first game. Uh, you know, the second round uh, is probably one of the most toughest rounds mentally uh, because now you've just round one you've won the game everybody's hyped and now you had a game two and uh, and and that high is kind of deflated a little bit now now you're like okay what next and so our guys were able to rebound uh, from you know not allowing themselves to really get drained mentally they had a, a great second round and and did a, uh, a tremendous job uh, and now we're going into the third round and the third round I really believe is a physical round uh, you know you get guys a little banged up it's a little longer season now uh, you get more owies uh, you're having to be you know work with the next guy up and so this week is really big for our guys as I've said to them We've got to be physical this week. That is the most important thing uh, that we've got to do this week. Um, and then, you know, once you win the semifinals, I believe now it's you're there. You're there. And so I think uh, at that point in time, it's finishing. You know, can you finish what you started? And uh, so playoffs is a pretty special deal. And I think that uh, you have to approach it right. Uh, to be able to handle week to week and not look past each week either. Oh, what's good? We're out of Park in Ontario. We're grubbing on some sandwiches before the game. <laughs> We're getting lifted. <laughs> Body weight exercise. It's really heavy. Uh, not many can do this.
It's a high school football game. Keep in mind, they are high school football players just like you. They strap it up, their helmets, their shoulder pads, just like you do. Okay? So I say that because you cannot allow your emotions to get the best of you okay, on a night like tomorrow night. That gradual buildup is more and more important okay, than it's ever been before. And then we're going to play right on the edge of controlled chaos the entire night without crossing the line. Okay? perfect place. We're not going to have 100% right, of the game go our way. What you can make 100% is your heart and your effort. So, so our passing game is we got to lock it down. Other than that, the deep ball, you got to understand the freaking side. Need it again? No, I'm telling you, it's a good one. We put pressure on it.
got to play right, into the semis to where there's a lot of football players, a lot of football teams right, that were not playing this weekend. We're not playing last weekend. Right? You guys were. All right, so there's a bright spot to a lot of this bad feelings right now. If I get anything out of you guys, it is the drive. It is the wanting to continue. Okay, so seniors, it may not be football, but it's other things. Or it may be football because you are going to play at the next level. Everything we do out here, gentlemen, ties in the head. Super proud of the way our guys played and fought. Football is such a lesson on life and um, sometimes you come up against things and challenges that are just a little bigger than you are. And tonight we kind of faced an opponent that uh, their defense was a little bigger, faster, stronger than we are. And um, you know, our guys kept battling and I was super proud of them. Our seniors, I hope, take something positive out of this because uh, they grew a lot this year. Um, as I hope our juniors and sophomores and even freshmen that we had playing tonight uh, take a lot out of this as well and really build towards something. Here we go. It's uh, time to start thinking about uh, um, how we uh, move forward from something like this and uh, turn a negative into a positive.